Hello dear friends, welcome back to my another video lecture on NEP on higher education. Transforming higher education in India, a comprehensive analysis of the national education policy 2020. Education is the cornerstone of the nation's progress and the national educational uh, education policy NDP plays a pivotal role in shaping the future of a country. In 2020, India witnessed a significant overhaul in its educational landscape with the introduction of the national education policy 2020. The policy, after a long time, aimed at uh, revamping the entire education system from school education to higher education to make it more relevant, flexible and responsive to the dynamic needs of the 21st century. In this lecture, we will delve into the specific changes brought about by NEP 2020 in the realm of higher education, exploring its implications and potential impact on the future of the country. What are the foundational changes in higher education? One of the fundamental shifts introduced by NEP 2020 is the restructuring of the entire education system. The policy advocates for an integrated approach promoting a seamless connection between different stages of education from early childhood to higher education. The 10 plus 2 system has been replaced by a more flexible 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 structure emphasizing the importance of foundational learning in the early years and providing greater flexibility for students to choose their academic paths. Under the new structure, the first five years focus on the foundational stage, followed by three years of preparatory education, three years of middle stage education, and finally four years of secondary education. This restructuring is expected to create a more holistic and continuous learning experience nurturing students' cognitive, emotional, and social development. NEP 2020 envisions a departure from the traditional um, siloed approach to education, emphasizing the importance of multidisciplinary learning. The policy encourages higher education institutions to move away from the rigid disciplinary boundaries and uh, offer more flexibility to students in choosing their courses. Universities and colleges are now encouraged to adopt a holistic and multidisciplinary approach to curriculum design, allowing students to explore diverse subjects and develop a broad understanding of various disciplines. This move is aimed at producing graduates with a well-rounded skill set, better prepared for the complex challenges of the contemporary world. To facilitate seamless mobility of students across institutions and encourage lifelong learning, the NEP 2020 introduces the concept of credit transfer. Under this system, students can accumulate credits for the courses they complete, and uh, these credits can be transferred across institutions, providing students with the flexibility to choose their learning path and pace. Moreover, the establishment of an academic bank of credits is proposed where students can store the credits they earn. This bank of credits allows individuals to resume their education at any point in their lives, promoting continuous learning and skill development. NEP 2020 places a strong emphasis on research and innovation in higher education. The policy recognizes the critical role that a research plays in the development of a knowledge-based society and economy. To foster a culture of research, universities are encouraged to allocate dedicated funds, establish research clusters, and create an environment conducive to innovation. The introduction of the National Research Foundation, NRF, is a significant step in this direction. The NRF is the NRF is envisioned as an apex body that will facilitate and fund high quality research in various disciplines. By promoting a research oriented approach, NEP 2020 aims to position India as a global hub for cutting edge research and innovation. 
One of the key features of NEP 2020 is the, is the introduction of a flexible entry and the exit system, entry and the exit system for higher education programs. Under this system, students will have the option to enter and exit degree programs at different stages, earning a certificate or diploma based on the credits they have accumulated. This flexibility is designed to cater to the diverse needs and aspirations of students, allowing them to chart their own educational journey. The flexibility in entry and exit options is particularly beneficial for students who may need to take a break from their studies due to personal or professional reasons. It also aligns with the policy's focus on lifelong learning, enabling individuals to acquire skills and credentials incrementally throughout their lives. Ensuring the quality of higher education is, an, is a paramount concern addressed by the NEP 2020. The policy emphasizes the need for a robust accreditation system to assess and maintain the quality of institutions. It encourages the use of technology for online accreditation, making the process more transparent and efficient. The establishment of the National Higher Education Regulatory Authority is proposed to streamline the regulatory framework for higher education institutions. NHE RA, that is a National Higher Education Regulatory Authority, will replace the existing University Grants Commission and All India Council for Technical Education AACTE, aiming to reduce bureaucratic hurdles and promote a more responsive and accountable regulatory mechanism. NEP 2020 recognizes the, the importance of language and learning and aims to promote multilingualism. It encourages the use of the mother tongue or local language as a medium of instruction in the early years of education. The policy acknowledges that a strong foundation in the mother tongue facilitates a better understanding and conceptual clarity. In higher education, the flexibility to choose the medium of instruction is provided with the institutions he encouraged to offer programs in regional languages. This move is not only aimed at preserving linguistic diversity, but also at making education more accessible and inclusive for students from diverse linguistic backgrounds. NEP 2020 envisions India as a global knowledge hub and emphasizes the internationalization of higher education. The policy encourages collaboration between Indian and foreign institutions facilitating the exchange of students and faculty. It advocates for the establishment of international campuses of reputed foreign universities in India and the promotion of Indian universities on the global stage. <coughs> the internationalization of higher education is seen as a way to expose students, expose students to diverse perspectives, foster a global outlook and attract foreign students to study in India. By promoting global academic collaborations, NEB 2020 aims to elevate the quality and competitiveness of Indian higher education on the world stage. What are the challenges and criticisms on NEP 2020 on higher education? While the National Education Policy 2020 has been lauded for its ambitious vision and comprehensive approach, it has, it, it has also faced its share of challenges and criticisms. One of the primary concerns is the effective implementation of the proposed changes. The success of the policy hinges on the willingness and capability of institutions to adapt to the new framework, which may require significant infrastructural and pedagogical adjustments. <coughs> the multidisciplinary approach, while promising, poses challenges in terms of faculty readiness and the restructuring of existing academic departments. Faculty members may need training to adapt to the interdisciplinary model and institutions may face logistical hurdles in redesigning curricula and creating a conducive environment for collaborative learning. The emphasis on the mother tongue as a medium of instruction, especially in the early years of education, 
it has sparked debates around the feasibility of implementation across the country india is a linguistically diverse nation with a multitude of regional languages and implementing a uniform language policy poses practical challenges particularly in states with multiple linguistic communities the flexibility in entry and exit options while beneficial for students raises concerns about the potential devaluation of degrees critics argue that the proliferation of certificates and diplomas may dilute the value of higher education credentials affecting the employability of graduates the internationalization of higher education <clears throat> while a positive step is also met with skepticism some critics worry about the potential commodification of education with the foreign universities setting up campuses in india primarily for profit rather than contributing significantly to the local academic ecosystem <clears throat> to conclude the national education policy 2020 heralds a new era for higher education in india envisioning a system that is flexible inclusive and aligned with the needs of the 21st century the policy's emphasis on foundational learning multidisciplinary education research and innovation and flexibility in academic pathways reflects a holistic approach to education <clears throat> while the challenges and criticism should not be overlooked they should be viewed as opportunities for constructive dialogue and refinement the success of the nep 2020 lies in the collaborative efforts of policy makers educators and stakeholders to address these challenges and ensure the effective implementation of the proposed changes as india strives to position itself as a global knowledge hub the transformative changes introduced by the national education policy 2020 have the potential to reshape the higher education landscape and contribute significantly to the country's socio economic development it is a step towards creating a learning environment that fosters creativity critical thinking and innovation qualities that are crucial for the holistic development of individuals and the nation as a whole thank you very much dear friends for listening to my lecture let us meet in other video lectures god bless you abundantly